We're here to acknowledge um, a, a great, um, great crime that is happening right now and um, very tragic situation and that is happening right now to Alexei Navalny and to many, many other political prisoners in Russia. What, what you see behind me is um, an exact replica of a prison cell. I think it's about three meters long and two and a half, roughly maybe three meters wide and this is not an exaggeration. This is not, you know, an art piece. This is reality. Um, Alexei Navalny right now is in the very similar cell. It is called um, um, punishment cell. And technically speaking, people are not supposed to spend there more than 14 days. These cells are not made to live there. They are made as a punishment if you violate prison rules. Alexei Navalny was awarded with the Saharov um, Prize uh, in 2021 and we keep in touch as much as we can with the laureates of, uh, of the Saharov uh, community as we call it. And we know very well that um, uh, Alexei Navalny has been a fierce fighter against corruption and abuse of power under the most difficult conditions and created a real mass movement across uh, Russia. And I believe that uh, now uh, it's time that we also think of all the other political prisoners. You said, Maria, that there was a time when you could list the names. Uh, some of those names have been listed in European Parliament's resolutions, but there are far too many now to be listed. I remember there was a moment when we had 152 names, but this is now much, much more. This is a great opportunity now for us also to, to raise the flag of freeing Navalny, but also freeing all the political prisoners of Russia. Navalny's prison cell uh, indeed shows. The European Parliament has repeatedly asked for the immediate and unconditional release of Navalny. We will uh, continue to be committed to this cause. We will not forget. We will uh, not turn the page. The showing of this inhumane cell is also a call for democracy, human rights, and freedoms worldwide. It is to take a stand against corruption and cruelty. It is resistance to Russia's aggression or war. It is an act, an act of solidarity. Free Navalny. Thank you so much. I, I, it really makes me humble to, 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 to be here. And the weight that the European institutions, the European Union, adds to our fight is very important. And please do not forget and do not remember, I'm addressing the, the European community, the European, European politicians, members of parliament, um, commission, etc. We, 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 we do acknowledge and we do, we do remember your impact. Because I'm going to decide your process.